Let's make a fun resin tea light candle holder. What you're gonna need is a plastic disposable cup and a plastic knife or something to stir with like a popsicle stick. You're gonna also want a silicone mold. This one is in the shape of a heart. I'll link it below and then you're gonna want your resin mix. This is part A and part B and I'll link that below as well. I chose to wear protective gloves and then uh, I also chose to color my resin and I used a red powder that again, I will link below this video. Now, this is a super fun, super easy project. If you want, you can also wear a mask. Um, you're going to start by using part A, which is the actual resin that we're going to pour into our clear plastic cup. I like using clear, that way I can see how much I've poured in. Or you can use an actual measuring cup and measure out your two parts um, a little more accurately. But I just chose to eyeball it. I poured um, a bit into this cup and then I decided a really good idea might be to mark it off with a Sharpie. So I took a black Sharpie and I just put a little line right where the top of the first um, product went in. And then I'm going to use part B, which is the actual resin hardener, and I'm going to add an equal part of part B. So the resin is a one to one ratio. And so part, part A, I've been up to the black Sharpie line. Part, part B, I poured an equal part. Again, eyeballing it as I went. And then I'm going to stir this. I was a little bit too vigorous here with the stirring. It caused a lot of bubbles, which you don't want in a resin project. So just be cognizant of that and just stir it as much as it needs to actually mix the two parts together. You don't have to go bananas like I did here with the stirring of the two parts. But once it's completely together, you can add your color powder. And I chose this iridescent red color. Uh, the link below will have a ton of different colors that you can pick from. This one, since we were making a heart and it's sort of for Valentine's Day, I thought the red would be a really good choice. So just took a tiny little spoon here and plopped out two scoops of powder. It doesn't take much to make this work. And again, I was a little too vigorous with the stirring, but you just mix all of the ingredients together, the powder with the resin mix, and it turned out to be such a beautiful, iridescent almost color of red. And this is what I am gonna use to pour into the silicone mold. This is kind of what it looks like up close. You can kind of see the sparkles. You can add glitter to this, whatever you like. I started to pour the resin mixture into the mold on top of the little base, being careful not to let it splash out the sides or overfill the mold. Now, I did fill it a little much, um, which just creates a little different look, but you wanna be very um, aware of the sides of the mold. So here we go, we let it cure overnight, at least 10 to 14 hours, and now we're going to separate the mold from the actual resin. And you just kinda do this, it doesn't have to be as careful as I was doing it, but um, you just kinda want to take all the sides off first, and then pop it out. Now this mold had a handy dandy little uh, piece in the center that I could grab right there and pull on to help release the resin out of the, the heart-shaped mold. Then I decided to just go for it and take it off. You can see on the back there's that little lip where I overfilled the resin heart mold. It just created like a little lip on the bottom which nobody's ever gonna see. This is so stinking cute. Look at how easy and fun this resin mold was to make. I think it turned out darling. I am sitting here thinking of all the different things that I can make with the molds and how many colors and glitter and flowers and ideas of things that we can put in the resin itself. This is how it turned out. I put a little tea light in it and lit it for my Valentine's table. This would be cute with even several of them down the table. If you loved this idea, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the little notification bell for more.